Hey guys, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Akosia Benhene. If you're a returning subscriber, hey boo, what it do? So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the best way to prep your skin, your combination or oily skin for um, makeup during this spring and summer season. I know it sounds long, but hear me out, <laughs> hear me out. Okay, I'm gonna be sharing with you how I prep my skin for my makeup, but just basically for this season of spring or summer. Let me just let you guys know that in winter, I have a total like different routine that I do to prep my face because the weather is different, the conditions are different, the skin is reacting different due to different seasons you know so it's essential that you're doing your makeup to suit the season and for me summer is all about lightweight makeup all about like skin like you know natural finish just just accentuating my natural beauty so skin prep for summer and for spring is entirely different from my skin prep for winter so if you're combination skin or oily skin and you're wondering how do i prep my skin <laughs> you know what is the best way that i can prep my skin what is the best way that i can get the best makeup result out of my skin prep for my makeup then this video is for you i'm going to be going into all of that showing you guys all the product that i use my skincare as well as um the priming steps and everything that I do so please I'd love for you to keep on watching this video and if you do enjoy the video please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and also please subscribe to the channel to become a part of the family follow me on Instagram or all my social media platforms if you care to okay <laughs> if I'm not here I'm on Instagram so please follow me and without further ado my loss let me hold my breath because I'm tired okay without further ado my loss let's get right into the video <laughs> To cleansers I use two I have two different cleansers from Demologica that I love matter of fact as of late I have been loving products from Demologica they have been working really good on my skin and I must say that I'm sticking to them um, the one that I use here is the daily microfoliant this stuff is amazing let me just say that it's not just hype if you've seen this all over the internet it's not just hype it's because it actually really works i used to have a lot of textures in the perimeter of my face and i see that this is getting it all the way together it's not entirely like solved but this is definitely getting it all the way together so i love that and then also um the clearing skin wash this is supposed to be like an active clearing skin wash you know like something that deals with acne um, blemishes stuff like that so what I do is occasionally I will pair these two because Demologica themselves say that you're able to pair two um, this is soft and gentle enough for you to use it every day so you shouldn't even think about the fact that um, it's a microfoliant and you cannot use it every day no it's gentle enough to be used every day it has been approved for reasons like that and then it's also good for you to pair with this if you don't I mean it's okay but that's just what I do I like to pair these two and they give me like a pretty good cleanse if you ask me this on its own does a great job this is what I'd always use by itself and then on days when I actually don't want to like cleanse cleanse I'll just use the gel to clean but on days when I'm doing makeup and I want my skin to be like nice and squeaky clean and you know like cleanse of everything I'll put these two together and they do me a great deal so that's what I do and then also I prep I sort of prep my lip for because you're putting on lipstick you know because I just like to prep my lips so I always do a lip scrub in the morning mornings when I have to do my makeup I feel like this will like sort of wake my lip up sort of give, give me some some kind of plumping you know it just like makes the lip nice and ready so I think that it's actually nice to have a lip scrub around for days when you want to like do your nice makeup and you know get that nice lip going on but it's i think this is also an option you could skip that but you could also get it if you want to <laughs> also let me just say that every product that i'm talking about here and using in a video will be linked down below so you could definitely check them out if you're interested okay so after cleansing um, what I do is I go in with my toner serums and all of that good stuff now the serum that I've been loving or the serum that I love for um, Days when I want to do like a nice 
glowy beautiful makeup look i would reach out for this this is the demologica bio c gel moisturizer it says it's a gel moisturizer but it's actually in a serum form it's very lightweight but it's so nice okay it gives you such a beautiful glow i feel like it gives my skin in itself a nice like hydrated look which also has like a nice glow to it which is perfect for how i want my makeup to look during the summer time okay i'm gonna go in with my eye cream um my eye cream is also from Dermalogica. it's the awaking peptide eye gel and i love this for makeup days because it's super lightweight so when you have it under your makeup it doesn't feel heavy when you put your concealer over it it doesn't feel like you have too much going on in your eye area you know for me i feel like that's key during the summer and the spring because the sun is out you're sweating you don't have too much makeup going on so you need products that's going to help you achieve that beautiful lightweight natural makeup look and as a dark skin girl in summer living in america i feel like it's key that your makeup looks natural because during summer a lot of people are out you know people are like out and about and shopping and you know people are going to be looking at you so you don't want to give people reasons to stare like i'm always saying you don't want to give people wrong reasons to stare so you want to make sure the makeup has balance <laughs> and then next i'm going with um my first moisturizer so if you watch a, a few skincare videos of mine in the past i layer my moisturizer that's what i always do in winter in summer in spring in autumn whatever i layer my moisturizer it's what works for my skin my skin needs hydration i am combination skin but i don't joke with my hydration still okay so every time i'm buying products i'm making sure that the product has some form of hydration that it provides so my serums and everything that i use will definitely provide some sort of hydration one way or the other every type of skincare product that i have needs to give me some kind of hydration i don't care if i'm like it doesn't matter to me that i'm combination skin i still need that hydration and that's just to everyone out there who's combination as well combination skin or oily skin doesn't mean that you don't need hydration okay this stuff is so nice and lightweight it's sheer it's perfect as a primer as well you could use it as a primer and as a moisturizer so that's why i love that so i use that and then the next product that i put on um, i mean like the next moisturizer that i put over that is this one from sephora right here um this is sephora's all day hydrator it's a hydrate and glow this is also a moisturizer as well as a primer so both work as hydrate as moisturizer and as primer so that's why i love it um this stuff is really good i really don't have much to say about this moisturizer because and i don't think I, i'll even repurchase it's just really good it's just okay you know like it's just a moisturizer that i think is okay and it's good for my skin it hasn't broken me out yet so it's just one that i think is good but i don't really have much to say about this particular moisturizer it's just a good one and then the next product that i'm going to use is my sunscreen from avino this is the hydrate and protect this is pretty much oh this is the first high um drugstore sunscreen that i've used that doesn't leave a white cast let me just say that and i think that's why i like this stuff because every other drugstore um, sunscreen that i tried in the past would just leave a white cast and was super difficult to deal with so i needed one that was not gonna do that you know that was still drugstore and avino did that so i love this particular one if you're looking for one drugstore sunscreen um that's not gonna leave a white cast that it does has a glow to it it does give you like um a nice a little glowy face which i don't have a problem with but i see that people have a problem with that people don't like that because they feel like it makes them look oily but i like that so then that will be like the skincare part of me prepping my face for my makeup and then now i'm gonna go into the priming part because with skin prep you want to skincare and prime together they come as prepping so now for the priming process for me what i do is for primer i take my ysl new blotting lotion okay so this particular blotting lotion is perfect for oily to combination skin if you um i have a video that's probably coming up next week you guys will see that this stuff is so good for oily to combination skin it holds your makeup together 
you know and in summer when the sun is out and you know the heat is unbearable there's so much like you know humidity that's exactly what you want you want a primer that's gonna hold your makeup together that's gonna hold your makeup even when you're kind of sweating okay that's gonna hold your makeup you know when you're busy and like out and about and you're not thinking you don't want to be thinking about your makeup like you don't want to be thinking what could possibly be looking wrong on my face <laughs> you know what I'm saying so with that being said you want to make sure that you're using a primer yes ma <laughs> yes guys yes the landlady is here so bear with us <laughs> okay guys so like i was saying the ysl new blotting lotion in my opinion is what i feel like can hold my makeup for this summer season or for the summer heat um but if you have a primer that works perfectly for you is able to hold your oils together hold your makeup together give you that nice natural flawless looking face that i'd say pick that so at this step you want to pick whatever primer that you want whatever primer that works exactly for your skin and that you think is going to hold up in this summer heat and for me that would be the ysl new blotting lotion because she has been tried and she has been tested and she has stood the test of time and then after i'm gonna let that sit for about a minute or for about 30 seconds just so that it gets nice and tacky you know you want your primer to do that if your primer has um the ability to do that let it do that let it sit for a while and then get tacky you're gonna get the best results out of it that way and then now i go over that with my um physician's formula mattifying powder now this step if you've been here for a while you will know that i never really set my primer it's not a thing that i used to do in the past but when the sun is out okay when the sun is out i will do anything to hold my makeup together it's just what i'm saying so during this season i'm definitely going to be setting my primer because i find that that also really helps to hold your makeup together but really if it's not summer or if it's not spring and when the sun is all out i don't do it because i kind of like for my makeup to look you know a little glowy a little i like my oils to show through here and there and then after i do that i go right with my setting spray again which is the evian spray just to set it again i feel like that's just an extra step that i do but you could choose to skip that step it really just ends at the setting the primer <laughs> it really just ends at setting the primer if you set the primer and you do your makeup it's gonna look good it's gonna look bomb you don't need to do um the setting spray after the primer the powder thing again but it's just an extra step that i do to just further secure the thoughts okay <laughs> okay to me i feel like it's very important to proper hold my makeup together during the hot weather because i don't want to be thinking of like what is going wrong you know like when someone is looking at me i don't want to be thinking why are they looking at me like that like is it because of my makeup i don't want to think about that so instead i will do everything that i can do with my prepping and priming then i can make sure that my makeup is okay okay so um that's pretty much it after this step you can just follow up with your foundation all of the good stuff and then trust me guys your makeup is gonna come out looking good that's that's what I do it always works for me this is my makeup I've had this makeup on since morning it's currently almost 2 p.m. and I must say that this is still holding up really well I've been laying on the couch eating talking doing stuff you know so I know for a fact that this is something that I've been doing for a while this is something that I've tried for a while and it's something that I think that I should recommend to you so I hope that you like it comment below let me know um, what steps you're gonna be picking out of this or if you're going to be taking the entire routine then I would love for you to do that um, if you have any questions please don't forget to leave them in the comment section below let me know follow me on Instagram I always say this I'm always saying this guys if I'm not here I'm, I'm on my Instagram okay if I'm not putting content on YouTube the content is gonna be on my Instagram so if you're a content babe if you're a beauty babe if you like makeup okay and if you want to see extra content from me head over to my Instagram Akosia Behini across all social media platforms I like to say that but on Instagram as well and um, don't forget to give the video a huge thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you guys in my next one bye